Today, we will be creating a festive party fire background template using Adobe Photoshop. It's not only quick to put together, but highly customizable, and can be reused and repurposed time and time again. So let's get started. Create a new document using the settings you see here. You can leave your DPI to 72 if you don't intend to print. Otherwise, change it to 300. Place a light gray sunburst shape towards the top of your canvas. I will be using the sunburst shape found in the Graduation Party Flyer download available on Envato Elements. As an alternative, you can also use the Registration Target 2 shape found by using the Custom Shape tool and going to Shape, Settings, and then Symbols. Once your shape is set, add a gradient overlay layer style to the sunburst using the default gradient Transparent Rainbow. Group your sunburst and background layer into a group named Base. I highly recommend keeping your layers nice and tidy for this one. Next up, create a white rectangle, placing it directly in the middle of the canvas. Duplicate the white rectangle, changing its color to black. Shrink it down slightly, only around 25 to 50 pixels smaller, and then move it down around 50 pixels, just so it's slightly below the original white rectangle. Switching from the free transform mode to warp mode within the move tool, pull up the middle of the black square by clicking and dragging up. Add a filter blur Gaussian blur to the black rectangle setting the radius to 5.8 pixels, bringing the layer's opacity down to 25%. With the custom shape tool active, go into Shape, Settings, Shapes to find a star. Place a few of these stars around the outside of the canvas. The color doesn't matter, as we'll be adding a rainbow gradient here shortly. Add a gradient overlay layer style to the stars group, replicating the settings you see here. Now, repeat step two, only this time use the rectangle tool to create square-shaped confetti all around the outer canvas. Add a gradient overlay to the square confetti group, just like in step two, only this time uncheck mark reverse. To finish everything up, we will be creating a ribbon banner. First, create a long rectangle. Once again, the color doesn't matter. Add a golden gradient overlay layer style to the rectangle, going from a dark gold to a bright gold color. Using the pen tool, create a tag-like shape to add to the end of the rectangle. The form can be anything you'd like. Whatever shape you choose, make sure it's around the same height as the rectangle. Here's a quick tip for the pen tool. Hold shift to create perfectly straight lines. Once happy with your shape, add a golden gradient overlay layer style, similar to your rectangle. Duplicate your tag shape and place it at the other end of the banner, reversing the gradient by checkmarking reverse inside the style panel. Using the pen tool, create two brown shapes below your banner and tags to form corners. I suggest to create one and then copy it to the opposite side. Group all shapes into a group named ribbon. Next, we'll be creating some ribbon-shaped confetti. Using the pen tool, create a worm or S-like shape. This will be the base of our ribbon. If you're not accustomed to the pen tool, I recommend tracing a pre-existing shape to help get yourself used to how it works. Try drawing out your shape first, then trace over it using the pen tool. Add a gradient overlay layer style to the ribbon piece. Duplicate the ribbon piece and connect it to the first, flipping it upside down and unreversing the gradient overlay. Change the angle of the gradient as well if needed. Repeat that step again, adding a third section of ribbon, and further adjusting the gradient as needed. Group the three sections into a group named Confetti Ribbon once happy. And there you have it, a fully editable party flyer background template, ready to be used wherever and whenever it's needed. Quick, easy, and only using simple shapes with some quick gradient work. Still not quick enough for you though? Go on and download the graduation party flyer that this whole tutorial is based on. As always, keep experimenting with different techniques, and don't forget to check out all the other wonderful tutorials that Tuts Plus has to offer.